What's up, it's the Blockchain Hustler, man. We back at it, man. Trying to put you up on some shit, dog. But yeah, man. Sheba, Sheba did some good deals, man, this week, man. That's pretty amazing, man. And that was one of my... One of the coins that I was just... After I seen Doge do what it do and I ain't trusted, I said, I can't not be left out. You know what I'm saying? I will not be left behind. Like that boy Obama say, no child left behind, man. I couldn't be left behind. But I got some news you can use today, though, because simple fact of the matter, we need to figure out ways to capitalize on this, rev this financial revolution because, honestly, we don't know how long this uh, these memes are going to be sitting around here playing around and giving us an opportunity to understand this space. And we can't be just getting into this space and thinking about getting rich because you got to remember there's inflation. This is the whole point of me getting into this game was to compound on the interest of the inflation, the hyperinflation that was coming when the pandemic come. I started investing in this 2019, 18, 19, something like that. I ain't been on many and long, but but that's why I know that 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 the, the gains that I've I've re gotten the return on my investment in the little time that I've been involved, I know that that this is this is the next generational wealth of transformation that that old money is it's it, it still work. We still gonna need properties, but where the where the space is going is autonomous, guys. It's autonomous. And that's that's and that's the whole point of the digital world. <laughs> I almost I had a, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna leave I'm gonna keep that. I had a weird thought just then, but uh, but anyway, we just need to take take hold of this. Uh, you know, we need to figure out how to capitalize off this financial revolution. Even though it might be a meme coin and Elon Musk bumping coins and trying to get the world introduced, but that, that's the system, guys. That's the system. We gotta understand that's the part of up that's the part of the system. That's the part of the system to get us accustomed to this new new way. Every time there was an um, a great depression or recession, technology upgraded, transportation upgraded, the environment upgraded. And and we're, we're we're just being trans, we're just being shifted into a place that's necessary. That's necessary. Self sufficiency, financial being financially fit, not relying on these resource out, out these external resources. You know what I'm saying? Because the source is here, within us all. You know. So take this time to get into she, man. She ain't hit Robin Hood yet, man. That's who gonna make. That's what's really gonna 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 get the government intact. In and we might, they might even come up with a new regulation with a tax law. But invest in this space to compound the, the inflation that is taking place. Like, try to understand how to live the minimum life as possible because that's the richest way. That's the only way you're going to be rich. Consumers are not the wealthiest people. Creators are. Builders are. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the world has been created on we in America, guys, so let's take advantage of the opportunities, man. Like, that's why I'm, I'm not studying crypto. I'm the blockchain hustler because I know I'm not thinking about crypto. Crypto is a part of just a side effect of what I'm on, the blockchain. It's just a side effect. Way more things is introduced into the blockchain and will be introduced in the blockchain by, by 2022. 2022, you're going to see an autonomous innovation. And mark my word, mark my word, you're gonna see an autonomous innovation that that and that's the only place I'm in I'm impacting my investments. Like the innovation. Cause that's the new level of creation. That is the that's gonna create deflation. And I'm excluding the middleman per se. I gotta exclude the middleman because <laughs> he's been a heck, he's been a heck of a fella for me, man. I'm not trying to get out of paying, paying anything or doing anything, but I would rather take control of my own resources and my own land and my own life and allow myself to gain interest on how to sustain an independent life without picking a party. As far as like Democrat, Republican, I'd rather be independent. I'd rather be the corn instead of the, the, the head or the tail of the corn. I'd rather be it and rather than of it. You feel me? 
So that's this this video is here to introduce you into understanding this. Understanding this. Understanding this. Because inflation is the eighth killer of your pocketbook. Inflation is killing your pocketbook today. Taxes is killing your pocketbook today. Your consuming habits are, 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 are affecting your pockets today. And with that being said, utilize these opportunities to capitalize on this financial revolution. The economy is being set up. They setting you up. And if you ain't a part of the team, they're tearing off on you. They're tearing on your, your ignorance. They're tearing up. They, they're elevating off, off of your ignorance. I'm not going to say our, because those who know about the financial system or just taking time to understand what money really is, those people are able, are able to escape the rat race that probably will not even exist in the next 10, 15 years, you know? So because of the marketplace is really, really, really growing digitally. So that's why Amazon has become the most powerful thing there is because he's, he has a distribution company where he's opening up his company to, to, to branch out products from other companies. And that's, that's, that's the supply chain that is, that's requiring deflation because we're not getting, building another Walmart to take away our mom and pops that can create these products that are in Walmart. You right? You get me? You get me? That's why Jeff Bezos is a, a brilliant man. And he understand customer service. He understand customers. And that's his main, fo that's been his main focus since he started selling books. This guy started selling books. Now he got over a billion dollar in of revenue, just returned on his revenue just off of satisfying people. That's what really made me want to help other people in this crypto, but I'm not taking my time and understanding and what I've learned and gained and my, my the, the value that I put into this to give it to people just to just just looking for gains. When they don't have a plan to position themselves in in a better position to even protect those gains. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not being ugly or nothing like that, but I just want my people to tap in and tap in on a more relevant and, and, and logical, logical, you know, headspace with this, because understanding this, 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 this blockchain and this, this digital space was honestly, I'm not going to say you, but it has spiritually helped me understand my spiritual space and my place here in the universe. Honestly, it sounds crazy. It sounds weird as ever. But if I'm not even giving you, I'm not going to entice you to give you, matter of fact, I will. Ether. Where is ether? Ether is around the atmosphere. Right? You might not know that, but I gave you something to think about. So go in, go in, dig deeper. It's way deeper than cryptocurrency. It's way, it's, it's so much deeper. It's so much powerful. It's so much power into this that, that no man could, could even fathom this, fathom where 50 years from now could be. No, nobody can see where 50 years from now, where this thing will be. We will be, this is the life of the Jetsons, guys. And that's my, that's been my childhood, like cartoon. I always loved like futuristic lifestyle. My, I always lived a futuristic lifestyle. I had been able to live above my means for so long since I was a young child and I never shrunk. I never could shrink. And they, that's like, that's like now, once you expand your mind, you expand your environment, you expand your horizon, you could never shrink. You could never go back to that because you have exposed yourself to a to a new way and a new thing that, 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 that seems to work, that will work, that is working. Right? Right? So I want us to take time in this space to really, really, really tap in and understand that this is a spiritual connection for us. Honestly, this is like this blockchain has helped me spiritually. So I ain't worked 
a full time gig since the pandemic, but I worked. But I'm not gonna consider it work because I'm a full time carpenter. I don't. Cause no, I you know. No, I haven't even worked, and I have, have had a decent living since my very first investment, 2018, for my birthday. That was a birthday gift to myself from my friend Joel. My friend Joel from New York, an African, out, out of New York, called and told me, he said, like, get as much as this as you can, man. No matter, no matter, no matter, no matter. And just by the, by the sake of my friend telling me something, I trusted him. And then it was metaphysically, we on a metaphysical plane anyway. We on a metaphysical plane. So it was on a, a level of playing field where I was already like, I, tr I trust my people. I trust you. I love you enough to know, like, you ain't finna stray me wrong. And if it is, it was an opportunity of learning experience of trusting and not trusting. A mistrust, right? So we have to put down the ignorance of not knowing and want to read, want to learn, want to do anything, man. Man, man, I never thought I'd be as intelligent as I am. I, I've been in the, I wanted to be hood. I wanted to be in the streets. I wanted to hustle these streets. Now I found the blockchain, and I'm a hustle the blockchain in all ways that I can. And I, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to duck the streets. I don't have to duck nothing. But um, how to remember my private keys, or what, who, who where I leave my phone, or how, how I rotate my 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 passwords, you know. It's so much better on my life that I know I'm, I'm, I'm what I do every day is to work for a hundred years past me. I'm, I'm, I'm working for my great great grandkids, which I don't have no kids. But I know I come here with nothing, but I would not leave with nothing, even if I have kids or not. You know, I have. There's enough people in the world to leave something to. You know what I'm saying? And it'll be enough people that I love and I see and I want to contribute to and they will be in and want to see them prosper that I will pour myself into. And those people will have to be those people that, that pour themselves into to wanting to grow and wanting to do more. But the spirit of God like will lead you into the places you want to be. I'm telling you, God led me into this space. I'm telling you. That's why I'm telling you, me being able to sit down without going to work 12 hour 14 hour job building scaffolds all over the u.s you know what i'm saying not even seeing my family not even knowing not even doing nothing but working and i would work myself to death bro and now god gave me a position to put myself in position to sit down and understand me learn me and these and dissect some things that were going on with me that I was lacking that I didn't even know was an issue that was the trigger that was a problem or that I didn't even tend to. I didn't put enough trust and love in myself. That's why I'm saying that exterior resources that we put a lot of faith into, those are not the key. We That's why we're still losing. We don't invest in ourselves enough. A lot of us are losing because we're not investing in ourselves enough. And... We invest a lot of time into, yeah, you see, futuristic is that my bar bark. But yeah, we invest in so much negativity and nonsense and stupidity, like this damn TV show. I'm not even gonna give it because I don't want nobody even watch that shit. That's just full of foolery. Every time you turn it on, just fool mockery of of, of people. That's of color light and it you just sit on there watching this shit all day stupidity ain't we're not growing but it's funny but i find the most brokest folks find everything funny i found that out as in my journey but back to what i'm talking to you i was saying but this crypto this 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 blockchain space has really helped me understand my spiritual self like might it might not help you that way you might have to find something in it that 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 you that would bring your interest in it like maybe that was me and my my partner we metaphysically inclined we ting like when he said it like i was like dang that's a dope birthday ad, birthday gift to get your fuck get yourself and i did that and i got that stuff at 10 19 cent and and the day it's like a dollar and ten cent, guys. Like, 
just an investment. Just just believing in myself, investing in myself. I said that was a birthday gift. I started businesses off of the strength of relationships. I started businesses off of the strength of last names. You know what I'm saying? Like, I systematically do. I don't sit back. I take that back. God positioned me to be systematically inclined in, in, in position to to be in, in position to do certain things, I believe. Because a lot of this stuff, I, I wouldn't have never done. I never would have done this. Like, probably if it wasn't for the pandemic or being able to take time and being in the pandemic, being in a high place of hell where change was required, you know? Like, and it, and I learned so much more, and I'm so much more peaceful. And I've learned like how those people in third world countries become to have in, in an environment with less, but manage to deal and appreciate appreciate the more the, the the greater life of things, the sun shining, just just the moon when it when it rises on time. You know what I'm saying? Like. And that makes sense, so much more sense to me. Cause I was out here chasing paper. I was out here paper chasing baby for so long that I didn't even know I was killing myself. So with that being said, we don't pay chase paper no more. We purpose chasing. We position ourselves in places where prosperity is near in the proximity that's that's the whole key of my mechanism and my environment the people I around I'm around daily like because I want us to grow because it might be a deal somewhere in Ohio or, or, or Florida like Florida is gonna be the next big place I've been thinking about Texas Texas is obsolete no the major activity Texas has already been built the new the new wave will be in Florida soon. And it ain't got nothing to do with the tax protections and none of that because you you if you don't have the proper positions, if you're not positioned in the places and where you need to be to have those gangs and that that information or those that protect tax protection, you won't have it. You'll be just like the regular employee and regular self employed individual getting thirty three to twenty five percent taxes. On on everything on your income, you know what I'm saying. On every every bit of your income, even your investment. Matter of fact, the gains investment is going to be forty percent. So that's you know, that's why I'm saying, guys, is way bigger than crypto, way bigger than getting rich. We're already rich, guys. We're rich. You know what I'm saying? We're rich just by having a concept and the knowledge to tap into this information. This is a new wave of monetary assets. And I don't want you guys left behind. So instead of instead of me, my brand back then paper chasing, we chasing a purpose of for a hundred years past time. Matter of fact, past the time our last time on this planet, the last air, the last air we breathe, we want to been a position a hundred years before shifting forward. We want I want my young people, our young people to elevate in this space. I don't want them working. They don't have to go to work if they don't feel, feel like it. They don't have to go to college and get in debt if they don't necessarily need to. They don't have to open a bank account if they don't necessarily need to. We'll build our credit with credit cards if that's what we need to do. We will build curriculums to help those around us you know, minimize that time frame it'll cause them to build in whatever platform, whatever job, whatever whatever that is they need. We want to have that in place. Because technology is what we need in every household today. Which it is. They got a cell phone everywhere in that mother. Gates got a phone in every household. He wanted a computer in every household. He couldn't manage to do that. But he managed to get those phones in there. And that's powerful, guys. So let's tap into what's really real and what's really taking the pace for us, man. Let's capitalize off this financial revolution. If we can't, let's figure it out. Because there's multiple ways out here. 
And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's Okemia, and it's one of the blockchain hustlers. And I want to introduce you to some news that you can use. And that's always some stuff that we want to bring to you on any day, any given Sunday, any 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 given day, though. But most importantly, no. Build a winning playing field. And blockchain, crypto, is not for checker players. I want that to be known. Crypto is not designed for checker players. I'm telling you to jump in sheep so you can understand what's the really, real, real coins out there, guys. Because the gov- I think the government experiment with the, with the global economy so they can even have a data amount of knowledge on who's using this to inform- who's using this and who's not using this. I honestly believe that. And I'm telling you spiritually, this space has enhanced my enhanced my spiritual abilities of, of being one with me in the universe. And I, I sometimes I feel like extraterrestrials is, is within me and I'll, always often around me because and I ain't gonna say exclude God, obviously God, but I'm I'm saying the way the things be channeled to me. You know what I'm saying? And those are the same things that created, that helped those pyramids be built. I don't give a damn what you say, what nobody else said. I don't care, but those are the things that manifested those pyramids to actually be built in a dimension that it was built in, honestly, I believe. But that's just my theory. I don't know what it is, what it is. It's the blockchain hustle here again, trying to take, tap in on how to capitalize off the financial revolution that is taking place right now don't get left out like them baby boomers don't want to use a computer only you only only land you ain't owning no stocks don't let's not let's not let's balance that from that time into this time let's balance that knowledge out because we can't be afraid of what's ahead of us because it's already there <laughs> you know what i'm saying they like like they say nothing under the sun is new. It's none of this is new. It's already done took taking place. My ancestors use this technology. It's why I'm telling you, I feel ex exterior, like ex, you know that. It just uh, I don't know, man. It, it's it's a weird space, but I, I I I appreciate it more now that I'm in it and I learned it, it in a spiritual way. It, it it helps me in a spiritual manner though, like. Honestly, when I dig deep and research these information, this, these coins and tokens and deals, and in the blockchain, just understanding the blockchain period, it's 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 really like level my playing field in the in the quantum level, you know, quantum leverage. Like it really has, like as I leveraged it, and it's like manifesting is so much easier. It's easy now, like it's a, it's just like a thought, and then those. It radiates that energy toward me, like, and then you know, speaking certain things in environments, you know, in certain environments, you gotta have your body clean too. Once you eat well, you you do the right things, you speak well, you eat the right things, you watch the right things. Your mind and everything aligns, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 the thing with being street smarts and and um book smarts, right? It's it's, it's similar to the same deal, like. You don't want to just be so worldly. You you don't forget. You don't forgot how to spiritually tap into your masculine and feminine energy, or you don't want you don't you can't tap into your chakras or feel out feel feel out which 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 part of you is blocked blocked and why you can't manifest certain deals into your way into your space. Those 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 ways have to be cleared. Like the honest the honest truth itself, like. The greatest asset of all is self. And then once we get a grip of self, we'll be able to network. And that's where our net worth come from. I, f- I found out. Being in rooms with people, being in places and rooms with people that was powerful. That was powerful to me. And that was been powerful to me since I was 20, 21 years old. Because my I pay for my, I've been paying for courses since I was like 19, 20. No, I say I say 22, 21, and it, and it was J, J. Morrison, the real estate guy, Lord of your land, 
that was my very first investment into myself. And I, I trickled on into stock market and I started a hair business and I started a music business. Now I'm on the blockchain investing. I've been investing, you know what I'm saying? I've been investing since I was a kid. Like, I remember my very first tide was like nine years old. I was a part of the, I was a cadet for the Salvation Army. Like, God has blessed me. And, and, and I believe my journey on the way of how, how of my decision of choices is one reason why I, I've lived a really, really healthy, wealthy life. Like, and I was able to do more than my, the, the average individual, my siblings or my, my, my kin, my close to kin. I've, I've left this world to make it to, I've seen this world more than a, a lot of people I know. Like, I, I know, like like closely know and when we, we get tapping into that is like we have to step outside of the environments we, we we eradicate too you know like because if if we only govern ourselves around the things we see daily and the people we know all the time we would not grow. We, I, I would have never grew. Like, because all my people was building me up to be a worker. That's why I've been paper chasing. That's where the paper chasing come from. Now we purpose chasing. I don't want a paper chase. That shit is dead. You hear me? That shit damn near killed me. You hear me? I've been working since I was fucking nine, ten years old. I've been a contractor of myself since I was a child. I have, I've grown up in a entrepreneurial lifestyle. I grew. That's why I've been on the go like I've been you know and I, I can take the risk and chance and invest in myself because I grew up I was brought up I worked in the hair salon when I was 10 years old shampoo girl sweep the floor I was a brick masonry labeler when I was freaking 11 12 years old I've been able I was able to work with family who had businesses that 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 that, that. I admire the fact that we run things I I'm infatuated with last names and I I believe the last name supposed to hold hold some heat. If we run, if we if we supposed to be family, I believe the last name hold hold rank. If my last name don't hold no rank, we ain't family. And I don't mean to be no disrespectful. It's just the way. It's just the way the law set up. It's just the way the law set up. The the book the Bible the Bible you people read often. It talks talks about financing often, talks about business, talks about people being in business, people helping people, and people obeying the obeying the instructions that Jesus gave them if they wanted to be healed or wanted to receive whatever that was that they desired of the most. <clears throat> but I want to thank you for tapping in again, like share. Like, subscribe, and share if you feel this information was beneficial. But I want I want my people to get into this crypto space. Like, there's no way for you to be left out, guys. Like, if you left out, man, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt, bro. That's gonna hurt because we. Well, I mean, it ain't gonna hurt. I mean, I won't feel it, huh? But I see it. Some my man. Whatever it is, what it is. But, guys, I want y'all to tap in. Understand this day by day. It's like the first day of school, guys. First day of first grade, guys. You ain't get to 12th grade that first week. Take time, guys. Take some time every day. Gee, you feel like you think you over here scrolling Facebook too much? Fucking go, go, go fucking find a clip on um, uh, Corn Ge Gecko, Corn Market Cap, Corn Base, Kukorn, Uphold, Voyager. Vo go on these applications daps and 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 understand it understand the DeFi of it all first because that's where you gonna lie you gonna gain your power back understanding the DeFi aspect because the metaverse you already in the experience you experiencing the metaverse you you on your phone you on your phone all the time so the metaverse they squeezing it in so if you don't understand nothing about the decent decentral land I'm telling you guys need to stop playing and talking about crypto. You need to understand what this motherfucker crypto about to do. And what they about to put your ass through. Your reality ain't real no more. Because if you ain't seeing what I'm seeing, your reality can't be real no more. Your reality might, might not be real no more. 
Cause they they trickling it down and in you. That's where the virtual reality coming from. They trying to get into your in, into your into your into your minds. And once they got there, you will continue to do the stupid shit. That's why they put you in the school, so we can have here and send them to work, send them to debt, send them to school. Fifty thousand dollar debt. I've been making. I got fifty thousand dollar of college debt. I, I make fifty thousand dollars as a union carpenter. I've been making fifty thousand over fifty thousand dollars ever since ever since I got that degree in 2012, bro. I've been making more than that ever since after that. After I graduated there, I started working for the fucking railroad. Traveling the whole United States off the dime of the fucking federal government. Blessed. That's why I'm telling you I've had experience. That has put me in places and put me in position with people to know this knowledge. I ain't just like read no books. I've been I've been venturing off, really trying to bump elbows and shoulders with the most dominant individual individuals of of society. Because I ain't man. Because I didn't see those rich wealthy people or friends around. Didn't mean they didn't exist. I was just in the wrong place. And I want to thank y'all again. Tap into the blockchain hustlers. We always try to give you some news you can use, but I want you to understand this crypto is where you need to be, bro. No playing, no games. I'm telling you, bro, like, it's moving fast. It's moving fast. But but you're never too late, bro. It's been 12 years. They've been, they've been building this protocol. They've been building this, building on to this. 12 years of building on to this. So now, don't don't get left out on the next 12 years because I guarantee you it's going to be bigger than the first one. It's going to be bigger than when they was at $8 billion. We at $2.8 trillion right now. Well, I heard, heard we was at $8.5 trillion, but I don't know where the other six at, but... um. Somebody got six trillion dollars somewhere um that ain't put been put in the market yet. I don't know where they got that calculation. I I heard this from a conference. I heard this from the um global um global com global conference. This they talk about finances. See, I've been studying finance since the pandemic started. I've been taking classes at Harvard since the pandemic started because I ain't have shit to do. Got laid off with the shit. I I ain't wanna work hard like that no more. I don't wanna be up to six six hundred feet in the air all the time. I wanna be climbing hundred feet all the time. I don't wanna be carrying ten pound planks all around, you know, uh lay, um, you know, I don't I didn't wanna work that hard like after forty. So right now we're working on building a smart portfolio of passive income and building building off of those bigger and better assets and passive greater passive income. And more so, keep a steady, 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 stable cash flow. Lucrative. Income, outcome, not just the only thing. We need to constantly be able to tad, tad, tally up on our investments, our budgets, and what we, what is coming out on. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not anything, but I have financial education through my time in the last two years. Well, Two years of the pandemic, I've studied finances. I've studied economics. I've studied international economics emerging, like from China to here, emerging. Like, like people, people tap in. Like you can't be stupid. Knowledge is the new form of collateral, collectible currency. If you don't understand it, that dollar dead, bro. If you don't know shit, you you because you don't. If you don't know nothing, you you won't even know what the dollar worth, bro. You wouldn't even know what the dollar's worth. Because it's not worth anything at this point. We're keeping it alive. They're printing things that don't exist. Like, like they put people in jail for, 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 for counterfeit money. But that's what the government do legally, yearly. And I'm going to leave y'all with that note. Don't trust the government. Don't trust your bank. I don't know what you say, but I don't trust now one of them. Fuck them. I'm the coin. They... He, they on each side, and I'm this motherfucker. So I pick which side I want. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, anyway, tap into the space technology. Anyway, 
tech, the tech, whole tech world tap in it. It's growing. 